Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between all and all selected two uh, important tax functions. Uh, what is their difference? They look sometimes similar, sometimes different, depending on the context you use them in uh, Power BI. Uh, but we are going to have a look at what is their difference, how you can use them. Let's go and check it out. The best way to show you the difference of these two is through an example. So here I have a Power BI um, sample data set. This is from AdventureWorks. Uh, the data set itself, you can download it from uh, Radcat blog. Uh, I have four tables, a fact table in the middle and three dimensions, product, customer and date. And they build a star schema, which I explained again in another video. What is a star schema? What's a fact table? What's a dimension table? Um, in um, short terms fact table is where the values are coming from dimensions are where the uh, slicers filters are usually uh, applied uh, then I have a report like this which I have uh, three slicers one for gender from um, dim customer color from dim product date from the dim date and I want to show some values in the middle so before I talk about that um, probably you don't see the date because this screen is a little bit smaller but let me just change it the way you can see it better now so here is my date dimension um so um the functions that i'm going to talk about are all and all selected what are the differences the all function is a function that ignores any filter applied on the um, on on the table right so for, for example when i write a calculation using all of a table that means give me the entire of that table regardless of the filters ignore the filters i explained about all in another um in another video uh, here i have a measure with that which i'm going to show you what it looks like so this is a simple measure the name is this and i'm doing a calculate sum of the sales amount from fact internet sales table uh, using this function so all in this case means that ignore any filters applied on fact internet sales. And then I have a measure with uh, no filter at all, right? For example, when I have this, which is sales no all, I'm just doing a calculate sum of internet sales. So this is just the normal sum of internet sales. And then I have one uh, with uh, all selected which is pretty much similar to the one that I used all for, um, some of fact internet sales inside the calculate, but using all selected. Um, so the best way to understand it is to see how these would perform in a visual. So if I bring them and add them into a table visual, like what you see here, uh, I have the three measures, the one with no all, the one with all, and the one with all selected. In this context, when nothing is selected in the slicers, they are all the same, right? Uh, for the DAX, for the measures, particularly in DAX, the filter context is important. What is filtering your measure? And that is impacting the way that measure is calculated. So at the moment, nothing is filtered. So all of these three are actually showing the grand total sales, $29 million sales, quite um, simple to understand. Now, if I have other visuals, you'll see the first difference in here. Like for example, here, I have one other table visual as well. Uh, in the first table visual, I didn't have any slicing and dicing, but in this one, I have a slicing and dicing using English education, which is a field from Dim customer. And what you see here is that um, although these uh, the totals are the same, you see these totals are the same. I have the three measures in here as well. And uh, there's a difference. Um, and that difference is that this measure, the one that has no all or all selected, is getting filtered by the values in here, by the English education. And that is normal. That is what we call fil filter context. Whatever that you have in your slicers, in your filters, in other visuals in the page, in the same visual, like in this visual as a uh, as a um, axis or whatever you might call it field in a table visual, it is filtering all other measures. But why it is not filtering all and all selected? Well, in fact, all is ignoring any filters uh, applied on the table. All selected is a little bit different. It's ignoring any filters applied 
uh, in the visual, but accepts the filters outside of it. So, so this first one is understandable. Now I'm focusing on the difference between these two, between these two measures. Uh, to understand those, let's go and apply some filters outside of this visual. Like for example, if I go and select male, and uh, so I'm filtering the data for male, and male is in customer table. You see that, um, so let's uh, not think about this one for now because that is getting filtered anyway. Let's compare these two. Uh, the one with all is returning exactly the same thing that it was returning before, $29 million. Um, and the one with all selected is returning $14 million, which is the sales of that particular gender selected. And same underneath here as well. So the one with all selected actually accepts this filter, male or female, even though that is um, that is using a all selected function. So that is the difference between all and all selected. All ignores any filter uh, coming to that table. All selected only ignores those that are individual. So to understand that, let's have a look at this visual. That would make it easier to understand. So here you see that this is a filter. English education is actually a filter. It applies on this one, which has no filter, and uh, we see the difference that it makes. Uh, but with sales all selected, this actually ignores English education. You see, regardless of what English education is, it's bachelor, high school, graduate degree, it's always $14 million. And that $14 million is for male. If I change it for female, you see that value also changes. Or if I choose another, let's say, value here, you see this is gender, uh, female, color, red. So it filters all of that, but it won't filter based on English education. So basically it ignores filters coming from inside the visual itself, but accepts the filters coming from outside of it. That is the difference versus all, um, which regardless of where the filter is coming from, from this visual or outside of the visual, it's always that $29 million grand total. So you might think <clears throat> then what is the use case of this? Well, of course, all and all selected, they both are a uh, very important function in calculating percentage. Depending on what percentage you want to calculate, you might use one or the other. For example, if you want to compare percentage of sales of each of these compared to the grand total, um, then you would use all because all always gives you grand total regardless of whatever is selected in other visuals. If you want to compare it with the total of this visual itself, then you have to only ignore the filters of this visual. In that case, you'll use all selected. So here I have two percentage calculations, uh, very simple calculations. Basically, it's just a simple divide. For example, this one divides the sales with no filter by the sales with all or the other one divide the sales with no filter by the sales with all selected and you see the difference in here quite visible so um, so this one sales percentage with all compares the sales let's say three hundred forty one thousand dollars and hundred and twenty nine dollars compared to the grand total sales which was twenty nine million dollars so that's like one percent of the grand total sales but you might be interested not in comparing it with the grand total sales, but comparing it with the total of this category, which is all the blue colors, male categories. In that case, this is 30.99% of the sales because then it is comparing with the total of that category, which is $1.1 million. Uh, so I'm not saying that one of them is wrong, one of them is correct. They both are very useful functions. I use them in a lot of calculations. Um, uh, it is important to understand where to use it. Another tip in here is that uh, depending on which table you are applying these calculations on, uh, these filters on, you might get a different result. For example, if I had, uh, if I had this function of all applied not on fact internet sales but applied on dim product i would have had a different 
result in this visual. So depending on the table you are filtering, depending on the filter context you are filtering on, you'll get a different result. I have explained about all in two other uh, videos. Um, so go and check it out in our YouTube channel. Um, and here is the difference between all and all selected. I explain about these types of difference in a lot of uh, my training sessions and consulting sessions. So if you need help, uh, feel free to reach out. I'll be more than happy to help. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube YouTube channel we have weekly videos on Power BI. Until the next video, bye.